We've all been hearing so much hoo-ha lately about health care. A lot of snowflakes and libtards and that old crew have their panties in a twist over the intention of Republican leaders in Congress to repeal and replace Obamacare. Never mind that scientists, the same ones who've proven conclusively that climate change is just a lot of hot air and not in any way attributable to human activity or even Chinese, have identified Obamacare either as the cause of or something that renders fatal the swine flu, AIDS, the common cold, tennis elbow, botulism, and autism. That in itself would be bad enough, but let's remember it was also the signature legislative accomplishment of a guy who should never have been president since he was was born in Kenya, is a Muslim, hates America, and is married to a woman who will never be described as petite, and who bared her arms at every opportunity. Who wants to see that sort of thing? And let's not forget her planting a vegetable garden in the backyard of the White House. What a message to send to our young people. Grow your own vegetables and put out of business the butchers at the local supermarket, which employs so many of your neighbors and friends, and even sponsors a little league team. Well, go ahead, snowflakes. Enjoy your broccoli while the cattle farmers of our great country wonder how they're going to keep gas in their eight mile per gallon SUVs. Well, I'll tell you how by manufacturing methamphetamines. Is that the world you want to live in? One in which it's easier to buy crystal meth than a ribeye steak? The poor have brought a lot of their health problems on themselves with things like exercise and eating zucchini nuggets instead of chicken fried steak and potatoes fried in pure lard. Ever heard of this thing called protein? You're not going to find a lot of it in zucchini nuggets, sunshine. One need only look at President Donald J. Trump, the healthiest man in the history of American politics, according to a signed letter from his doctor, to realize that exercise is something any sensible person would avoid. Where on earth did people get the idea it made sense to exert themselves unnecessarily? Well, I'll tell you where from television personalities of dubious sexuality like Richard Simmons, and from that great friend of the North Vietnamese, Jane Fonda. Oh, there was a time no fellow in his right mind would have kicked Barbarella out of bed for eating saltines. But then she started putting out those videos in which she wore leg warmers, and I'm very sorry, but leg warmers aren't exactly about to display seamed black or fishnet stockings at the top of the sexiness hit parade. And smoking another victim of libtard-led political correctness. Some of our greatest athletes smoke like chimneys until they die of lung cancer. That's the amazing Mr. Willie Mays in the illustration. But if the libtards get their way, the tobacco farmers of the Carolinas will join the cattle farmers of Nebraska in meth labs, while millions of American young people never experience the exhilaration of looking as cool as only a cigarette can make you look, or smoking through holes in their necks as they lie dying of emphysema. Whatever happened to our God-given right to a hideous, agonizing death? 